Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and I uh, made a change, made a little switch uh, to my um, internet connectivity. Just thought that I'd talk about it and talk about, you know, what is required when you change your internet speed and exactly how should it go, um, and and do you have what it takes to really get the speed that they're advertising, and are you getting the advertised speed? There's a lot of things like this. So first of all, um, what I did, and the reason I did the change, was I was at 120 megabits per second connection uh, for download, and uh, they had a gigabit Ethernet, which is 1,000 megabits per second. And uh, actually, the advertised speed is up to 940 megabits per second. Um, and it was actually less expensive than my 120 so I actually called and had uh, the new connection installed. Now here, it's dreadfully complicated, as always been. Um, this is over a cable. It's what they call hybrid. It's fiber up to the corner of the street, and the rest of the street is standard cable, like cable TV. So, of course, you have some problems that could arise from using cable and not having fiber optic directly. Uh, if I would like to have fiber optic internet, I can, but I would have to switch company to Bell because the fiber optic cable comes directly to the home here if I switch to Bell. But, you know, switching companies is not, not that easy. So we tend to try to stay with the same company. I'm with Videotron here in Quebec and Montreal. Um, so what exactly uh, does it do? So first of all, if you get the gigabit speed or if you get very fast internet you also need hardware that's capable of it now if you're connected through a ethernet cable chances are you might because most modern ethernet adapters are gigabit so that usually is okay but i'm wireless so and i do not have the desire to have cables going through everywhere so that means you need good adapters. If I look at this machine here, so these are the speeds I'm getting, okay? And there's something about this speed. You could see that they're advertising up to 940. I'm getting 737 at the best of the best. I sometimes reach 800, uh, but I do not, do not go up to 940. Uh, but it doesn't bother me that much. It's still a lot faster than what I had. And I know that because of the signal being rather weak at the end of the cable here, uh, it's probably almost impossible for me to reach 940. I'm still happy. I'm saving around $60 a month, and I'm still a lot faster than 120. So, you know what? I, I'm not going to complain about that. Now, of course, some of you might want to complain. It depends what you want and actually how you want it. But remember that in advertised speeds they always say up to that speed because they know that not everybody is going to get the advertised speed and remember also that a lot of what's on the internet is not capable of giving you that speed anyway so don't go overly crazy when you start getting really fast speeds remember that half of the internet is not even going to be able to reach that speed when you ask for downloads or ask for uh, documents and stuff or just go to web pages it doesn't matter, matter that much. Now, if you look at my adapter, uh, this is where it's interesting and you got to understand. I'm Wi-Fi. And to get gigabit speed on Wi-Fi, first of all, you need to be real close to the modem. Second of all, you need to have an adapter that's capable of it. And only Wi-Fi 6 and later is capable of it. If you're older than Wi-Fi 6, don't go get gigabit speed if you're on wireless you're never going to reach the speed that they're actually giving you so here to give you an idea this is what my adapter is look here at the bottom of the adapter first of all it says wi-fi 6 uh, 802.11ax which is wi-fi 6 and look here aggregated link speed 1201 megabits per second that means that with these numbers here i can reach uh, my gigabit speed in the best conditions. 
But if you're connecting much lower than that, you'll never reach higher. So remember that, for example, if you're on an AC connection, my laptop is on an AC connection, it actually doesn't connect faster than 866 here. So that means at 866 on Wi-Fi 5 or 802.11 AC, I'm never going to reach gigabit speed if I had it. But, you know, and it is much slower. So you need to have the latest technologies on Wi-Fi uh, to really reach these speeds. So it's, it's something to note because there's a lot of fuss, you know. Oh, this is the speed you can get. Yeah, but they don't talk about, look at your hardware. Are you capable of that speed? It's useless to pay for high speed, a really high speed internet if you don't have what it takes to get to that speed. Especially if you can save money by having lower speed. In my case, <laughs> for some reason, it costs less to be here at gigabit speed than it is to be at lower speeds. So, hey, you're just going to do it. But uh, these are a few things you got to understand. So here, the fastest I've seen uh, in a few times, maybe about 100, and, 100 to 120. Uh, 800, sorry. 800 to 820. I mean, if you calculate that, you know, my fastest speed is around 940. I'm not that far off, you know, and um, I'm off. I'm fine with it. Like I said, yeah, saving money. You know what? I'm okay with that. And it's, anyways, a lot faster than it used to be. So that's what uh, I wanted to talk about a little bit, my discussion on when you want to have new internet connectivity and how everything needs to be connected. And, of course, the fastest speed, if you do have gigabit internet and it does reach that speed, um, in many cases, the fastest speed, you'll get them with Ethernet cables connected directly, um, more than Wi-Fi. Remember also that that speed drops real fast as you move away from the modem router because this is uh, a modem that now has a router, which means I don't have my own router anymore, although I could add it if I want. Um, and... Of course, that means that gigabit, you'll get it in the same room real close. But if you're in another room or if you're a little further away from the modem, you'll see that the, draw, the speed drops real fast. An example, about 20 feet away from the modem, speeds are around 400 megabits. And if I'm outside in the back on the balcony, um, which is roughly a good 40, 50 feet away, uh, from this, from the modem, I probably reach around 150 to 200, which is still pretty good, uh, and still gives me decent internet, anyways, outside. But uh, it drops real fast, and it drops even faster depending on how your home is built, the walls, the type of material, and all of that. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.